Hello designers, welcome back to another new video. In one of our previous videos, I showed you how we can generate mockups using free Figma plugins. And a lot of you have loved that video. So if you haven't watched it yet, do check out the card on the right top somewhere here. So in this video, I'll be taking you through six online mockup generators that will help you to generate mockups for your prototypes or your design projects and all for free. So without any further ado, let's jump right onto my screen and have a look at it. So first on the list, we have mockupbro.com. And once you come onto this website on the top, you have an option called devices. Just go onto that and here you'll find a lot of devices, right? You can scan through them and you have a lot of pages as well on the bottom. So once you find something that you like, for example, this one looks good to me. So I'll go for that. And here you have an option to upload. So I click on upload and here I have a sample screenshot. So it's asking me basically if you want to crop it or you want to zoom it. So I'll leave it at this and say crop and continue and there you go we have it beautifully placed on the mock-up and i can simply go ahead and just click on download and it'll basically download the file for me right so that is mockupbro.com and now moving on to the next one this is smartmockups.com and once you come onto this website on the top you have these different options so go to technology and here you'll find all the devices that you need so in our case i'll go for smartphones and here you have a lot of options so you can browse through them on the left as well so switch to free mode so just filter it by free and in the free mode itself you have a lot of amazing mockups right so these are like really professional looking mockups so let's go for one this one looks good to me so i'll click on this and here you have an option to upload a url or from your file itself so i click on this upload image and select the same image right here and that's it it's applied and it looks amazing right and once you're good with it just go ahead and click on download and you can start using the file and next on the list we have mockupper.net and once you come to this website on the left you have these different devices that you can choose from so on the top you have these filters as well currently it's on iMac you can switch to MacBook you can switch to mobiles tablets or whatever device that you want you can keep scrolling it right and click on view all you have this bigger view where you can check all these devices so right now let's go for this one and just click on use it that's it you can start adding the screens so I click on this upload option here and just select the screenshot that you have you can crop it out and click on done and there you go it's applied and it looks like a very realistic mock-up and the best part is it comes transparent as well so you can and just put it on any other design that you're working on and you can turn off the reflection as well so that is really good so if you don't want the reflection you can just remove it or set the opacity for that as well and if you want a background color you can choose that as well and once you're done with that just click on this option to download it there you have the transparent image of this device right so you can go ahead and place this on your portfolio or any website that you're working on and that being said let's move on to the next one which is pixeltrue.com and once you come onto this website just click on create mockups this will take you to your new page and and here you have the different devices or the mockups that you can choose from right so here you have the option to filter it out so i'll go for a single screen and here you have the style that you want to choose from if you want a realistic device you can go for that or you can go for the clay version and here you have the filters for devices so i'll filter it by smartphones and click on this one so this looks good to me i'll click on upload select the screenshot and here it's asking me if you want to crop it i confirm it and there you go so that looks great i can choose the colors as well if i want to switch colors i can go for a black one blue looks good to me so i'll just go for this and click on download click on download there you go i have the image downloaded so so far we have seen just static screenshots so let's say you have a prototype that is a video and you want to create a mock-up out of it so these two websites that i'm going to show you next will help you with that so this is any mock-up so in this you can just upload a video and i don't have a video right now but you can just upload a video so for our case let's go for the static image and once you have uploaded it the video starts playing here you can choose different backgrounds so these are like amazing gradient backgrounds that you can choose from and once you're good with that you can start add animations as well and once everything looks good you can also add text and images and things like that once everything looks good just go for preview and download and here you can download it in mp4 format or as a gif right so that is the best part about this tool so make sure you check this out you can also remove the watermark so it's totally free to use so kudos to the creator for doing this for free and that being said let's move on to the next one this is more hoops so in this one you can't create for mobiles but this is amazing for creating desktop mockups so let's go for it i'll click on get started and here you have different templates so this is like creating a teaser for your product right so once you have a video of your product you can do this 3d kind of animation so all you gotta do is you gotta click on this upload the video and then you can upload the audio if you want to add any music to the background and different height and width settings of the video and once you're good with everything just click on this option to render it and then you'll be able to download the 
file and use it. So that being said, these are some amazing tools available on the web for free. So make sure to check out these and use it on your personal portfolio or any web design or UI design that you're doing. And as always, happy designing and thanks for watching.